Armageddon Survival Plan, The Key. For printed version please contact jar at jar truth dot net. Chapter 10. Muhammad and the Birth of Islam as Yet Another Religion. Once God had seen what Satan had done to Jesus' teachings, with the birth of Christianity, and its spreading and establishing, and the success that Satan was having, with yet another organized religion. He decided to try, yet again, to put people back on the right track. After 600 years of so-called Christianity developing, and people ignoring Jesus' message, God gave enlightenment to Muhammad, little by little, to try to pull the people away from organized religions, and back to direct contact with himself. He chose the Arabs, because they were neither Jewish nor Christian, and the pagan Arabs already worshipped the morning star, al user as a divinity, and hopefully it would be easy to convert them from worshipping the star itself. Surah 53, verse 49, to worshipping its king. Also, the Arabs were nomadic traders, with caravans that traveled extensively, and could thereby spread the word of God, far and wide. Muhammad was around forty years old when God called him, and, like all the other prophets, was not a religious man, he just talked to God and did God's will, and, like all the other prophets, he was a child of God, by adoption. Muhammad was not religious, he was just a believer, who strived himself, and taught the striving, to do God's will. God explained, through the Quran, that Abraham had not been religious, just a believer, like Muhammad. Both Abraham and Muhammad, like Jesus, were, and fought, against organized religions, and were both just children of God, adopted. Unless you are born again in the Spirit, and become like little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. John 3, verse 3 to 13 and Matthew 18, verse 3 and 4. God gave some clearer explanations, of the creation of human animals, Adam and Eve, and Satan's angels, jinns, submitting themselves, to being reprogrammed, and being locked inside of human animals, bow down to Adam's and Eve's. Surah 7, verse 11 and Surah 15, verse 31. It tells you that everyone, acceptably, Lucifer slash Satan, agreed to bow down to Adam's and Eve's. Muhammad passed on God's messages, to his students, who wrote them down, without understanding them, and no one, since then, has really understood them, until I have come again now, to enlighten the whole world, with this book, as I promised that I would. Mark 13, verse 10 and Luke 17, verse 24. God also explained that he had told Abraham, where heaven is. Surah 6, verse 76, and he told Muhammad too, but Muhammad did not understand either. Surah 52, verse 49. Evening and Morning Star, Surah 53, verse 1 and Surah 86, verse 1, so the Lord told Muhammad, even more clearly, and also told him that he is Lord of Sirius, and of the seven heavens, and of the worlds. Surah 53, verse 49 and Surah 23, verse 86 and Surah 86, verse 1 to 4, but he still did not understand. The Lord told Muhammad exactly the same as Jesus had taught, which is not to worship Jesus, or Muhammad, or any other prophet or angel, and to worship only God. Surah 3, verse 79, Mark 10, verse 18 and Matthew 5, verse 48, and not to be priests. Surah 57, verse 27 and Surah 4, verse 152, Matthew 5, verse 19 and Matthew 23, verse 8. God told Muhammad, that organized religion is wrong, and that the dividing into sects was wrong, and always will be. Surah 2, verse 62 and Surah 2, verse 112, and that all people, from all over the world, from whatever nation, color or creed, who really believe God, and keep his commandments, and covenant. Surah 5, verse 8 to 16, and 73 and Surah 6, verse 152 and Surah 8 verse 58 and Surah 16, verse 91, and 95, and do his will, shall be saved from the fire on the last day. Surah 2, verse 62 and Surah 42, verse 13, Matthew 12, verse 50, and the twelve tribes of Israel is not meant only literally, it refers literally and metaphorically, to all the children of God, who are grafted into the twelve tribes of Israel.
The word Israelite means champion of God, those who do God's will. It does not refer to the Israeli nation of today, or the Jews, it refers to those who do God's will, that is the children of God. Anyone who does God's will, champions his cause, not his own, is a child of God by adoption, or, Israelite, in Hebrew. By telling Muhammad, that Abraham had been a child of God, and that Jesus was a child of God, and that Muhammad must be a child of God, he was trying to get the Arabs to unite the world, into one brotherhood. Surah 2, verse 62 and Surah 42, verse 13 and Surah 49, verse 10, and to destroy all organized religions, and divisions, amongst believers, and to unite everyone into one brotherhood. All of whom must talk directly, individually and in private, to God, and do God's will. God said you must read and believe all the messages from God, and not just the part that you think you have been sent. Surah 2, verse 91 and Surah 42, verse 15. That included Muhammad, and all Muslims, so all believers must read the book, Torah slash Old Covenant, the Gospel, New Covenant, the Quran. Surah 42, verse 15, and this book. The way home or face the fire. Surah 16, verse 101 to 104 and Surah 4, verse 136. God enlightened Muhammad, and he taught exactly the same teachings as Jesus, with one exception, that is I am the way, because Muhammad was not the way. Muhammad was just a messenger, and not the example to follow, just as all the other prophets had only been messengers, and none were resurrected from the dead, or would come again. All the prophets, except Jesus and Elijah, were your fellow prisoners, who received messages and enlightenment. Many of the prophets wrote down God's messages, without understanding them. Daniel 12, verse 8 and Isaiah 29, verse 11, or at least some of God's messages, and this includes Muhammad. Muhammad was told about reincarnation, when God said that the souls had had many chances, if only they had known. Surah 23, verse 99 and 114 and Surah 2, verse 154, and also that parents are not the parents of your soul, and that anyone who loves father or mother, son or daughter, more than God, is not worthy of God. Surah 4, verse 135 and Surah 9, verse 23 and 24 and Surah 58, verse 22, just like in Matthew 10, verse 34 to 40. God told Muhammad that the earth is a prison, for those who reject faith in, and love for, God. Surah 17, verse 8 and Surah 83, verse 7, and that souls must strive for their salvation, and their right to go home. Surah 29, verse 6. The Lord told him, that, on the last day, the human animals, that had been used by the souls, would be witnesses for, or against, the souls that had used them, depending on whether they had been used for good, God, or for evil devil. Surah 41, verse 20 to 22. On the last day, everyone shall be known by his mark. Surah 7, verse 46, just as in John's Revelation 14, verse 9 to 11, and shall be judged according to his mark. Those who wear the mark of God, in their foreheads, that is communicating telepathically with him, keeping the commandments, and also doing his will, blind faith and using the eyes of their soul, third eye, and the force shall survive, and those who wear the mark of Satan, in their hands, that is money and worldly treasures, shall die in the fire. Muhammad taught exactly the same as Jesus. God's message has always been the same, and always will be, just as God has always been and always will be the same, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and all the prophets have said the same thing. God gave enlightenment to Muhammad, about to Jesus, the son of Mary but Muhammad did not understand what God was telling him. God told Muhammad, that, the son of Mary, was not his son, which is perfectly true, just as I am not the son of my present mother. My present mother's body made the body, that I am using this time, but she did not make me. My soul, which is the real me, came down from heaven, just like the last time, two thousand years ago. God's son is Prince Michael, the A-R-C-H angel. Christ was Jesus, Christ, the Nazarite, is me, who was the spirit slash soul locked inside the son of Mary, which was a human animal, 
created by Mary's body, with a little help from my father, the Immaculate Conception. I used the Son of Mary, so that people could see and hear me, so I could give the demonstration of how you have to be, before you can go home, just as I am now using this body, for the same reason. I controlled the Son of Mary and used him, from within, for the benefit of everyone, which is what you all have to do, with the animal bodies that you are using. God said, in the Quran, that the man Jesus, human body not the soul, was not his son because God is not a human, and therefore cannot have a human son, not the spirit slash soul within the man. God told a great many people, on various occasions, in the New Testament, that Christ, the spirit within the human animal, was his beloved son, in whom he was, and still is, well pleased, and God never lies. Matthew 3 verse 17 and Matthew 17, verse 5 and Mark 1, verse 11 and Mark 9, verse 7 and Luke 3, verse 22 and Luke 9, verse 35, through 4, verse 171. Christ did not die on the cross, the human animal body being used, called Jesus the Nazarite, the son of Mary, died. Through 4, verse 157. You are not human. There are two possibilities about the misunderstanding, concerning Jesus, because Muhammad could neither read nor write, and he did not write the Quran, or read it to check that it was correct, because he was not able to. The first possibility, is that Muhammad himself did not understand what God was telling him, because Muhammad was a simple and uneducated man, but was kind, honest and humble. The second possibility, is that Muhammad did understand what God was telling him, which is unlikely with the world's level of mentality at that time, but that his students did not understand, and wrote his message down incorrectly, and Muhammad, not being able to read, did not know. In any case, the Quran was compiled and published after Muhammad's death, and it is possible, that Muhammad half understood, and that his students worshipping him, instead of God, in direct disobedience of God's and Muhammad's teaching, did the rest probably under instructions from Caliph Omar, to try to make Muhammad more important than Jesus. So now the Muslims do not follow Jesus' example, as the Quran says they should do. Surah 4, verse 159. The devil's telepathic voice, enemy within, within the heads of Muhammad or his students, see chapter 3, deceived them, and managed to twist this message perfectly, and Satan has exploited this point, with great success for hundreds of years. It has been one of his most efficient tricks, so far, and has kept people fighting, and killing each other, ever since, in God's name. Question mark. Just how stupid can people be? They all worship the same God, who commands them not to murder, and are murdering each other for Satan, and are using and abusing God's name to do it. I really find it hard, to believe that people can be that stupid, but I know, for a fact, that they are. The problem, that the Muslims have, is that, because Satan has tricked them into worshipping Muhammad, and believing that he is the only prophet of real value, they have no direction, nor the example, to follow, and they have been running in circles, ever since. Jesus and Muhammad both taught the doing of God's will, but, without having the example to follow, the Muslims do not know which way is forwards, and Jesus, whom they will not accept, is the example. I am the way, home, that everyone on earth must follow, whilst doing God's will, in learning self-sacrifice, and becoming unselfish. Surah 4, verse 159. Muhammad and Jesus both preached the same message, which is, that all organized religion is evil, and that you must do God's will, not your own, and that you must talk to God directly, individually, privately and constantly. Matthew 6, verse 6, Surah 7. Verse 55. If Christ is not the Son of God, the Spirit, not the man, then why is Christ coming again, and not Muhammad, or any of the other prophets? Question mark. Surah 43, verse 61. The Muslims worship Muhammad, which is totally against the Quran and Muhammad's teachings. Surah 3, verse 79. Even though they deny it. The Muslims belief in Muhammad and the Hadith, instead of God's truth, in his Quran is totally illogical, as is their belief that Muhammad is more important than God's son. It is illogical, because, if it were true, then surely God would send Muhammad again, 
instead of which, he is sending Christ, as it says in the Quran. Surah 43, verse 61. The Quran also says that Christ will come without religion, to destroy organized religions, and the false doctrines that abuse his name. Just like the last time, God could not entrust such an important mission to just anyone, or to an enlightened prisoner, prophet. He would only give the mission to his eldest son, whom he can trust completely, that is Prince Michael slash Christ, Michael the Archangel. God himself, through the Quran, has said that Christ will come again, just before the last day, as a last warning of the doom that is coming. Surah 43, verse 61 and Surah 52, verse 1 to 16. In the same way that Satan turned Jesus' teachings into a religion, and called it Christianity, he turned Muhammad's teachings into yet another religion, and called it Islam. Islam, as an organized religion, is against the teachings of the Quran. The Arabic word Islam means absolute submission to the will of God, which is wrong, because God does not want souls to submit to his will, he wants them to want to do his will, joyfully, and to keep asking him, all the time to tell them what he wants them to do next. However, the word Islam, which means doing God's will, has now become just the name, of yet another organized religion, instead of saying what you should do. God initially helped Abraham and his line, to win battles, in order to spread his word. Lateran, he helped the Romans to conquer the known world, in preparation for the spreading of Christ's teachings. God made Paul, Saul, blind, and then gave him back his sight and made him his most efficient and widest traveling messenger. Similarly, God helped the followers of his teachings, in the Quran, Arabs, to conquer many countries, most of which had become Roman Catholic, to spread the word and counteract the spread of Roman Catholicism, with its idolatry, blasphemy and other evils. Unfortunately, the word Islam has lost its meaning, and has just become the name, of yet another evil, organized religion.